kick. Didn't go the required distance for Darcy. She pivots instinctively and back to Mo. A great grab by Mo there. And, and just to mention um, Alicia Eva and her her poise just to, to get on her left side and, and really just give them a steadying option to, to head back into the centre and kick to Mo. And that is unselfish play from Mo Hope and loose checking from the Ds into the Aussie rules. Described as a junior Steph Kiyochi. And right now, she's kicked the pies first. Sells the dummy, buys herself some space, but it's a slightly dangerous kick because it opened the door momentarily for Phillips, but she was swamped immediately as well. Collingwood putting enormous pressure on early. They win the scrap. This is Garner. Another one-on-one -on -one for Hope. Can she turn Clifford around? Left foot snap from Hope. Bounces goalward and bounces through. So Mo Hope, so dangerous one-on-one. -on -one. They are under siege early in everything that Wayne Seekman and his Collingwood coaching setup could have hoped for. Here's Karen Paxman coming off 20 plus possessions last week. Inside forward 50. Anderson will sneak her way to the back, get the favourable bounce. She's not quite run down. And it's too late if you're a pie. Anderson on the board for the D's. And the D's will repel. Jeray. Outside 50, it'll spill nicely for Livingston. Picks it up, throws it on her boot. They'll contest 25 from goal. Here goes Cameron. And now, a chance to kick a goal for the black and whites. So the opportunity goes begging for Melbourne. As Garner pumps it to Mo Hope. Flew from behind, never a chance to mark. Gang tackle taken down by three. We'll have a ball up 45 metres from the Collingwood goal. They lead by 19 points. The 19-year-old who plays her footy at Melbourne Uni. 32 goals in the VFL last year. Runs to 40. It's close to the mark, as did Phillips. Quick snap from Cat. Phillips is a goal! Brilliant! Right, you feel like Melbourne... I've got a surge in them, and it's right here right now. Berry sends it forward in the Pierce direction. Through hands. Deft little touch from Anderson. They've got numbers forward. Streaking forward of the footy. Paxman, can she show her class? You bet she can. Karen Paxman comes up big. Clifford. Hope gets there. Looks to link up with Kiyochi. Tries to keep it alive, but... Clifford heads over the line and out as we head down to Sam Lane. It's a bit dark in that pocket, Sam. <laughs> yep, you've well picked up. It's quite dark. Um, we've had a bit of a moment here in the last minute or so. We've got temporary lights installed. Crowd are now waving their iPhones with lights on <laughs> to try and light this up. About six lights have blown. I'm sure the AFL will be all over it. Two have come back on. There's a third. And suddenly we're, we've got a bit of light on the subject, guys. And same for the Ds. They're starting to light up as well. Here's Lampard inside 50. Tracking back. Wide open forward line. Phillips runs to 20. And goals! Scores a level. Hands taken by Berry, it's spilt away from Cordner and she delivers it inside 50 to Jess Anderson. Anderson wants to go quickly over the top. It's still alive. It's a goal. Miffs it. And the D's are in front. Six time All Australian. Tugs that kick. It's still alive for the D's. It's a mark. Comes from Garangamit. Just past Colac. She milks 140 cows every morning. And then comes to training. Runs around. No one on the goal line. And she bounces it through. And that is five goals in 17 minutes of game time to the D's. Maybe the most devastating burst we've seen in the competition so far. Will it be enough? Collingwood still have a say. White sends the kick forward. Downey. Bought herself some time and was taken out of the contest by Casey. That sort of losing of her footing for Meg Downey actually lowered her, her face into the harm's way of Casey as she came through. Straight off the field for further assessment. Mayor Ray Clifford goes over to give her words of encouragement. 
Send it wide, but numbers once again with the D. Smith taken out of the contest. Benici wants to find the body to try and clear a path. In the end, she cleared it for herself. Goes back in, tackled. And create the stoppage, and they need a few more Brittany Benicis at the moment. Led from the front as the vice captain wants to take Benici on and does. The double fake gets it inside 50 and hits Sarah Jolly. Has really increased her work rate over the summer, having played Division Three football last year. A chance to finish it off for the D's. For the D's tonight, a lot more involved in that conversation. Cat Phillips with a couple, and they've kicked more than the winning score tonight. Hutchins back to Livingston, who'll send one into orbit. And Melbourne, a massive, massive win for them. They keep their NAB AFL women's competition season alive. 19 points down at the half, and in the end, 19 point winners.